I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars for August, Taurus. Now your month ahead, there's a new moon on the 17th in your family zone and Mercury and the Sun um, also in this area. Now Mercury finally comes out of its retrograde movement, okay, on the 8th, thank heaven. So um, Mercury is the planet of communication, commerce, uh, electronics, travel, many um, short distances, but all sorts of chaos can happen around you know, any forms of communication like TV, um, cell phones or computers. It's a good time to back up your work and you know just make sure that your communications with people are clear. It's very very easy to have misunderstandings around this time. Okay so for the first week of the month if you have particularly any sensitive issues or communications around family you want to make sure that you're both on the same page. You both really understand who's accountable, who's responsible and how you're going to move forward. Okay, but on the 17th, if you can do that earlier in the month, by the time you've got the new moon on the 17th, it's like a new beginning. Now many of you will be also looking to change uh, residences mainly, maybe change homes uh, and making some adjustment or alteration to do around the family, around your home, around the domestic area of your life, okay? But the new moon is, signifies a new, fresh, positive start. So it's like you have the first half of the month to get everything in, organize, research, and get, you know, um, tackle any uh, intricate or sensitive situations uh, diplomatically, of course. And the second half of the month is when you make decisions and you can move forward. Okay, let's have a look at your career and money. So Venus, your ruling planet moves into the solar second house very very comfortable in this position because that's the position that you represent and that's the governing position one of the governing positions in the zodiac of venus so it's very comfortable very good for money venus rules money and possessions of course love it's a love planet as well so you do need to be careful about being possessive because even though venus is the love and romance planet, there's always another side it's, she's also possessive and can be jealous okay but it's a very good time um, for money and signifies like a whole new start. It's like everything seems to be coming together for you now, Taurus. And I know that's going to be music to your ears because I, I you know, get a lot of you write to me and, you know, I've been saying I can feel the change coming up. Okay, so and it is. So stay positive, stay focused, and just stay on track because there's also a full moon in your 10th house. Um, which is all to do around with your work and business. So there's changes happening there. Some of them may even be out of your control, but it is going to allow you just to step into a whole new fresh start. So stand by. The big things are going to happen this month, but more so towards the second half of the month. So love and romance. So Mars moves into your seventh house on the 23rd. Mars is like the... the um, duo of the love duo, Venus being the other side of the duo, but Mars is the passionate side. So you can have like a, a very passionate dynamic connection with someone if you're single and looking for love. And also Venus will move in on the 8th to your um, solar third house. So it's very important that your first impressions are a set and what I mean by this is you want to make sure that the impression or the image that you're portraying is the image you want to put across okay so put a little bit of time effort thought into that now your lucky numbers for the month are 2, 8, 23 and 31 and I put you as dynamic day down as August the 2nd and that's the full moon energy is there is going to give your business a boost and that's good news have a great month, Taurus. Thank you for watching. I'm Jennifer Angel.